Yo, what's up? It's your boy Carcino here, and let's discuss this. Fair use act, fair use. This is only for commentary purposes. We are just doing a breakdown of the fight. We are not broadcasting this fight whatsoever. This is fair use act, fair use, fair use, fair use act. Now, he's up. Cruz versus Rory Romero. This is early in the fight. First round. He's he shot Cruz. The pit bull is waiting. Ladies and gentlemen, this is early in the fight. First round. First minute of the fight. He's waiting on Roley to throw a punch. Roley's loading up because all he's thinking about is offense. His balance is terrible. Look, look how his legs are spreaded apart. That is way too far to, apart for your legs. But all he's thinking of is loading up on a big, strong shot. Now... What he's not doing is fainting. He's coming in with his head on a silver platter, serving it up. You do not serve your chin on a silver platter. You have to have boxing ability. You have to throw a feint. You have to see, make your opponent move. Give them something to think about. But... Roll, Roly don't roll that way. Boom! He waited for him to throw the right hand so that he could loop his shot right around it and catch him right on the nose. Boom! He was off balance when he got hit. His chin is served up on the platter. He gets hit on the top of the head because he doesn't button his chin down. So he walked right into a power shot he put all his leverage on that shot see smaller guys know how to fight bigger guys they are used to fighting that another shorter guy might be a difficult fight for him but fighting bigger guys that's not going to be a problem for him he knows how to get his punches across by timing and feints Now, as these shots were hitting, Ro <laughs> Roley immediately goes for a clinch. Right? He immediately goes for a clinch. Now, now that he's trying to engage the clinch immediately out of nervousness, Look, he's holding on for dear life. Cruz is already trying to get his arm free. <laughs> he's on he's on Dream Street right now. Boom. He's just trying to get his arm free. Boom. Once again. Even though he's on Dream Street, when you get buzzed, you go back to what you know. You go back to your discipline. You go back to the training. You go back to everything that made you you. That's what you do. You fall back on your knowledge. You fall back on what got you there. That's what you want. But instead, <clears throat> he decides it would be in his most infinite wisdom to not have any survival skills after getting rocked. He goes back to his bad tactics of keeping his head in the air. Most young fighters nowadays keep their head so far up in the air I just got a text message. That's funny. So, 
while countering the shot. Now this is early, once again, boom. He has no balance now. He just got clipped again on the temple. So look, his feet, everything is gone right now. Now, he doesn't know how to be collective to get himself back right. And when you don't have your legs, you got to try to balance yourself and start, you know, getting some type of balance. And you want to kind of get to the ropes and tie the guy up. You don't want to start trading. And once again, he's trying to throw a punch. And not saying he don't have heart, but look, he's trying to throw another punch. Look, look at his head straight in the air. A lot of these young guys make this mistake. And it is exactly that. A mistake. Boom. Hit again flush. And he's off balance again. You're playing into his wheelhouse. And Roley's lack of abilities. There he goes. Balance is off. Look, he's in bad shape already. Chin's on the platter. He just reaches out to try to grab. Uh, he's shot. Cruz made a mistake. He should have waited to see. He should have waited to see how this was going to play out. He should have just, he kind of rushed and smothered his own work. He was excited to get him out of there. He got too close. He should have waited to see what was going to happen with Roley. He would have had an easier shot. Probably would have ended this fight in one round. But he smothered his own work by coming in too close. Because you don't know. You got to wait to see. Let Roley touch the ropes first. Before you engage, because you could you could have gotten away from this clinch. See, he fell in. He tried to get himself back. So yeah, it was a great, great, great matchup. Great, great fight. Um, for the results, <laughs> great for me. I had my prediction right. Knockout <laughs> after six rounds. I said in the prediction that I gave people, I said after six, Roley will be ready to go. And he was almost gone in one. Perfect times shot. Look at that. See? All Roley sees is what he's trying to land. Now, the difference between Roley's shot and his shot is you're going to hit the top of his head. His chin is buckled down. Yo Chin is served up on a platter as the number one special. Bink! <laughs> and there you go. This is why you cannot play boxing. You will get your block knocked off completely. This is not a game. This is not a game. Well, here's the situation here. Um, Y'all probably want to see the setup. Uh, once again, Fair Usac not showcasing the bout. Just going over commentary. We're just giving commentary to the event. As Roley is going too low, he's already kind of buzzed. But his balance is off. From moving around the ring in the body shots he's absorbed during the fight, he's now having a hard time moving. And his left leg it doesn't have the, the balance. So when he bends down, his coordination is a little bit off. So he's trying to grab because he's already hurt. Boom! You see what Cruz do? See, he's short. So he can get to his position a little bit quicker and set up his shots. And before Roley can even get his head turned around, he's already getting clipped with punches he can't see. Same punches. 
from round one and round seven. This time, Cruz didn't smother his work. He stayed and keep a little bit of space there so he can go downstairs or upstairs. So now he's prepared in case Roley tries to grab him. See, he's loading up on a body shot. Boom, it comes with a one-two. Body hidden. He's going right to the top. Boom, right hand. See, no guard, chin still up in the air. He's quick. So by the time you even move, he's already through a left. Oh, another right, and here comes another left. Dude, the right is there. And he can't find him. He's trying to relocate, get to a position. And this is from Rowley's inexperience. To, uh, De Deontay Wilder does this too, which is nuts. And I think they must have teach this at the PBC school. Uh, hiding your glove under, <laughs> under your arm and then flicking it out. I think someone need to teach them how to jab, how to do everything. You know, him and Ryan Garcia in the fight now, Ryan Garcia will probably break his jaw. High guard. Boom. Body shot. He goes right back to the body. Always remember this, young kids. Go back to the body. The body shots are what are telling those body shots last the longest. They will hurt your opponent. It will bring your arms down. It slows them down. So this would stop movement. A lot of people don't like to commit to body shots. Cruz is committing fully to body shots. Boom, another shot. Boom, right to the head. Roley's defense is not really there in this uh, stanza. Oh, he's clipped again. And now it's to the point where he can't see. The punches are coming in. The ref could have easily stopped this in this round. He got the defense up on that one. Oh, and he goes around it and clips him. All power shots. The right comes in. He ties up as much as he can. He's in bad shape. A uppercut from hell just comes in. Now he's really out of it because he's like, whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> An uppercut. Now his balance is off. He's trying to jab. He's way out of it. He's trying to get back. Look at this. Head straight in the air. You see that? See what I'm saying? Now, I know he's hurt here, but this is just from bad mechanics. He never, never ducks his chin down. Young fighters do not do this technique. You, there's nothing good's gonna happen with you keeping your head straight in the air like this. You're only gonna get yourself hurt in boxing. Oh my goodness, shots are just coming in with no defense. Yeah, Roley can work out. Roley can train. Roley could be in the greatest condition he could be. And he was in good condition, in good shape. Because, you know, he would have been out of there a lot quicker. So, yo, can, his condition, his legs were strong. He worked out. But that's only a part of it. Boxing is, <laughs> remember, 5% of it is physical. It's the mental aspect. It's the strategy. It's the technique. That's why it's so hard to do. UFC fighters, I love how people compare. I love how they like to say, well, if this is a UFC, well, UFC is more complete because see, UFC could do this. 
and you got more stuff to look out for. And I love how they try to do those comparisons. And I always tell them this. I said, well, so if you got more to use, wouldn't that be easier? Then you can only hit with your hands. If I can hit you with my head, my elbow, my knee, it makes it a little easier for me, right? But if I can only hit you with my hand, I have to be really smart about doing that, right? I would really need to have some sort of technique to get these punches to you. I don't just throw them. There has to be a setup. There has to be a strategy. There has to be technique that is being a minister so that I can get my punches across, right? And that's what this is, you know, so all about technique, preparation, distance. See, tried to minister to clinch. He wouldn't allow it. He ducked the clinch. He knew I got him hurt. Bang. <laughs> Keep him there. That's how you avoid a clinch. You, did, you give yourself the space whenever this guy gets hurt. So that you can avoid this. Boom. Oh my goodness. These shots were crushing. So I'm glad you guys got a chance to, to see what I was talking about the whole time. Now look, after this long wrapping of the arms, I mean the gloves. The gloves wasn't the tape didn't even need that. They wanted to give Roley some more time to get himself together. Cruz, oh, who had him hurt, was very upset and pissed off that they stopped this fight so that he could get his glove rewrapped. So he ran immediately to taking care of Roley. I mean immediately jumped on him. Because he knew he had him hurt. And they tried to give Roley some more time to get himself together. So Roley's trying to get his legs back. Boom! But when you, when your technique has been bad all night and you've been getting clipped, it only takes one more shot to put you right back there. And the referee, Arthur McCanny, has been watching and he's just once again taking defenseless shots. And the ref knew right there, these are too clean of shots. i got to get in there and stop this. Roly can't do any more than that. He's going to get hurt. Now, the thing is, and here's my problem I have. The problem I have is this. You have a host of people that would tell you this was a great night for boxing. And it's entertaining for us because we get to see a lot of uh, things play out that we like to see as, as boxers or boxing fans, just the storyline period. But us who know boxing know Roy Romero shouldn't have been in here and damn sure shouldn't have had a title. So, so the whole thing is, it's a dog and pony show. They know who the real boxer and fighter was here. Everybody knew Cruz was going to win this fight. 
If you didn't know that, then you was out of your goddamn mind. Then they put an Arrow Spence in there with this seven foot tall giant who is thin as rails and Arrow could just go in there and chop him down like a tree. He has no power. This is going to... Man, if this thing wasn't set up, how, when in boxing history have you seen a champion who's going to unify the titles into a unification fight with another fighter, with Keith Thurman? That fight gets canceled. And so within two weeks notice, he has to take a fight with a seven foot giant who was on the undercar. He was handling him, got hit with an elbow on top of his head split blood's coming down his face they don't say this is a non-contest when the doctor tell you out the round two this is a bad cut this is bad his corner didn't know what the hell they were doing to stop it and he couldn't see blood's pouring all in his face and you could tell it changes the fight this fight should have been a no contest but they can't have that because they need to have a winner so they can stick Errol Spence in there. And his fat ass at the fight. You man, I'm mine, can't you, man? You hand down, man, you down, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm back. Man, I kind of, yeah, yeah, I got to get them strapped. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> Good thing you ain't got Bud Crawford in your diet no more. You didn't got your mind together. I'm saying you avoiding that fight. Cause you ain't got nothing but another ass whooping coming your way. Now, with that being said, this is what's wrong with the game. <laughs> this is what's wrong with the game. Too many circus fights instead of real fights. But look, I'll be here all night if I'm doing that. So let me get up out of here. I'm going to holler at you. It's your boy, Carcido. I am out the door.